Kekale. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Kekale. Something different. Which means. Which please. means. Good evening. There you go. <laughs> All right. You go. In Yoruba. Yes, you're here with us, the GRP. Back again. Gym rats, actors, giving you our perspective on everything entertainment. First story we've got is uh, Antoine Fuqua is going to be directing a Michael Jackson biopic for Lionsgate. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, hey, pretty, pretty, pretty surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's happy. Already. Yeah, um, this comes from us via Deadline and it says... Antoine Fuqua is set to direct Michael, a Lionsgate drama telling the complex life story of the iconic singer Michael Jackson. His script is in by John Logan and the film will be produced by Graham King, who turned the Freddie Mercury Queen story into the blockbuster Oscar Best Picture nominated Bohemian Rhapsody. GK Films will produce alongside co-executors um, of uh, Jackson's estate, John Branca and John McClain. Oh, John McClain, you know. Die hard. Uh, <laughs> turning Mercury's complicated rise, fall and triumphant comeback into a film that won Best Actor for Rami Malek might have been an easier task than the moonwalking over landmines that will have to be done Ooh. with Jackson's stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was some good writing there, man. Shit. We're walking over uh, that way. <laughs> any, anyone who has seen the job that Fuqua did on the Will Smith star Emancipation might come away believing he hit a high watermark as a filmmaker because of his unflinching telling of an often brutal story of the escaped enslaved man Joseph. Uh, man Joseph. What? Hold on. This is man as a full Oh, this look where they put the friggin' up. This has been long. This has long been a passion project for King and Logan, who teamed on the Oscar-nominated Martin Scorsese directed Howard Hughes film The Aviator and his race to innovate before his mental illness and germophobic uh, obsessions overtook him. Sources tell us that the film will undoubtedly make most make the most of Michael Jackson's music musical accomplishments and uh, recreation of seminal career highlights, beginning with the days he fronted the Jackson 5 as a child to his hit-making work as the biggest musical star in the world as an adult. But it will also deal squarely with the paedophile accusations that dogged his later years up until his death in 2029, uh, 2009 at the age of 50 from cardiac arrest caused by a cocktail of sedatives. Uh, things are moving fast on Michael. Fuqua is currently finishing the Equalizer 3 Whee! in Denzel, Washington, in Italy. And then he will turn his attention to this one. Ralph, you need to speak to your agent yeah. or whatnot to get your audition in. You know what I mean? You put a little wig on you. <laughs> you know, mess up your nose a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too big, man. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I'm too yeah. chunky for my. We're way too big. Yeah, yeah. we're way too big. I've nothing but a to was it toast and coffee diet. Yeah, yeah. And an apple for like about a year. A Christian yeah. bell. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think, bro? Um, couple things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if it's done right, it'll be really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it'll be it'll be epic mm -hmm. because everyone just loves Michael Jackson's music. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was, I was about to qualify mm -hmm. that. I never yet music. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was very that's what, that's what, <laughs> music. Yeah. And and pre knowing about all that people. Yeah. Video, yeah. Uh, I was I was a huge. Oh, everyone. everyone was. There was everyone nobody was. on this earth that didn't love Michael everyone Jackson. Everyone was. Come and on. and actually. I'm not starstruck by any star, but I think at the time, mm. in his prime, I would have been. But yeah, but you were a kid, though. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but the other thing is, uh, because it's so in the air with the whole paedophilia, and, mm. like, no one really knows the truth and the story. Yeah. So but the pop, the pop, it's like, what yeah. angle do they come from? Do they come from, you know, everything that's come out? Or, you mm. know, who, who, who are they consulting with? Good, Be good because good point. Good especially point. with the Jacksons, they won't they won't have They're, nothing bad said about no, Michael no, no, in no, any no, way, no, shape, or form. No, no. And everybody's done bad. Let's 
you yeah, know, yeah. like to, you know, but they won't, they want anything tarnished. They're the first to probably try to bring lawsuit and all mm, them things mm. if it, if it doesn't chime. Yeah. Mm. So it's just about I'm, I'm, how they're going to do it, how they're going to get around mm. all that, mm. you it's know. Interesting. It's interesting. So, but I'd be the first to go and watch it. Oh, definitely. I'd definitely. be the first I, to go I, I and watch it. I definitely want to watch it. No, and, and, you know, my man directing it. Yeah, yeah Anton. It's quite I, exciting. I, I, I like him a lot. Because he's, so, do, he's doing bits. You know, yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. doing the Equalizer 3. Yeah. And yeah. Denzel never done a sequel before. They're like three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And the so, thing is, the Equalizers are not the best films ever made. No. But no. they're just good watches. You know, yeah, like, yeah. you just come away from Especially the, the first one. Yeah, yeah the yeah, first really one. The first, first one. one was brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's just it's just Denzel mm. being Denzel, isn't it? You can't, you can't help but watch Denzel. I it's think fun. anybody else do the Equalizer mm. is dead. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, film's yeah. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah, not yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. But well, then, we only have to look at the TV version with Queen Latifah as the Equalizer to see... Yeah. Uh, that what you're saying is Have true. you watched it? No. And Have I'm, you watched I've, it? I've seen the advert. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen the yeah. advert. Queen Latifah is the honestly, equalizer. Honestly, honestly. I forget that, man. This is when what goes wrong, but anyway. Yeah. yeah. It, it's all about the, the original <laughs> Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward. Yeah. See, you're Batman. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah, mess yeah. around with Edward yeah, Woodward. Yeah, and look yeah. at his name. Yeah, Edward yeah. Woodward. <laughs> Bad boy. I used to love that show. Yeah, man. and we thought he could do anything. Man, he's an old ass grey man, you know. Good acting, bro. Yeah, <laughs> running around in his long trench coat. Yeah, it is. Bad boy thing. It is. But yeah, as for Michael Jackson, I think yeah, there's. I remember. Do you remember the original, um, the American Dream? It was like a series. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Which yeah, was yeah. very good. It was. It, it was, was the very guy, good. The guy that got to play Michael was. Re- I think he's died now. Yeah, you know who uh, else was in that? Terrence Howard was in that. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Yeah, he was. I can't remember who he played, but he was one of the brothers. Yeah. And um, the guy that sang on the Lion King and was in Smart Guy, the dark, the the older brother. I know who you're talking. Yeah. About. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Remember, we was we had a conversation yeah, about him yeah. still getting paid for Lion King. Yeah. I can't remember his yeah. name off the top, but um, yeah. So Great. they do it right. Mm. Well, it could be a blowers. Yeah, man. Damien, were you thinking of through that article saying the land? <laughs> the moon walking over landmines. I mean, that, that that doesn't tell you what they're up against. I don't know what will. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those stories. I remember when the story dropped because my brother loved Michael Jackson to death. Like mm. he went out, even though he had a record player, he went out and bought all the vinyl. Okay. Like every single one we could, mm. second hand or whatnot. He collected it to death. Mm. He just held but, them. Um, and he, oh, yeah, he still got them. Uh, somewhere he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because well, that'd be worth some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah originals. Mm, mm. <laughs> but like he, when the stories dropped that he was obviously, that would have, well, whether we know what not happened, yeah. when they dropped, he didn't want to believe it for the longest yeah. time. Yeah. And our members are not big a fan as he was being very, very skeptical about it. So if they go that route, as to Leon's point, where are we getting the information from? Mm. You know, what side of the story are they telling? Are they going to make a a depiction that where they unearth things that the public doesn't know mm-hmm. and comes about in the film, which mm-hmm. I don't think they'll be able to because obviously there'll be some rights not stuff coming out mm-hmm. in a feature film as opposed to a documentary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um who are they gonna get to play it? That's that's, that's, that's a big thing. You can get Joby's brother because he's played Michael Jackson before. <laughs> Tour and all you're saying you can do it bro. But um yeah like you need to get someone who's gonna have not just the charisma but is able because you can't not have someone that can't dance or sing mm-hmm, at a part. Mm-hmm. They need to be able to be the trifecta of it, and he needs to have that. Ability. Worst case, not sing, but they have to be able to move like yeah, they, him. They can't like move nobody like else. Yes, they need yeah. to be able to act and move. Yeah, yeah. that that yeah. you're right. They can't sing. That, that they can dub that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can dub that. They can get the singers mm-hmm, in. Mm-hmm. They could, you know. Leo's in the AD office singing. It's fine. Don't worry. Exactly. There you go. See, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bar that, I want to find out. Will the toy be making an appearance in this movie? Well, yeah. this is it. Yeah. This is I don't know, right? I don't know. Because there's, there's certain parts of the Jacksons where it's just like, you know, there are certain people who've been outspoken in certain ways mm. that the family haven't always liked. So I'd like to know mm. the fact that we've got the actual Jackson family involved with the estate and stuff like that. It shows me that it will be slightly whitewashed. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's the thing. Slightly glorified. This is the problem. And that's what that's what's gonna be my point, some of my points when I when I when I start chatting. But yeah, that's that's what I'll I'll pass into Larry on that point. Right. So Leon's very right. Uh we only have to look at the NWA story, which I love by the way. Yeah. Mm. To see that that was 
whitewash for full of holes full, mm. where we know the full story. of holes mm. it was complete there was there was so much missing from there mm-hmm. they tried to make Dre look whiter than white when he wasn't yeah you know what I mean um it's so many biographies that are done by the estate or someone in the estate it's just yeah it doesn't doesn't turn out right mm-hmm. uh, so I'm very dubious on that front alone mm-hmm. um whether that, that's it's, it's going to have certain things in it. I've got a feeling it's going to have a lot to do with his dad, obviously, because he's yeah. been very outspoken about his dad. And to the, for the most part, I don't think most of the family likes his dad because he was kind of like, up until he died, kind of like the outcast. Mm. Even by, you know, with the mum and what they... Because he ended up divorcing the mum. And they've never been afraid to talk about it. It's, like, yeah, like, yeah. The pub, general public have always known about his father. This yeah, thing. yeah. They've never hidden it. It's not, it's not just Latoya and Michael talking about the dad. It was... Mm. The other brothers have said a couple of things as well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think a lot of that, a lot of the film is probably gonna um, focus on that. I, unfortunately, there's there's no way for them to um, to avoid the the paedophilia accusations. No, um, no, especially with the first one because the first one didn't even go to court. Why? Yeah. Because he paid it off. So that's gonna. There's not a lot the estate can actually do with that. No, uh, unless they're not going to talk about it, they're going to have to talk about what's in the court papers. Yeah, mm. what the boy said happened. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they might they could go that route if they mm-hmm. if they you know um, the second case I think maybe something happened maybe didn't but I know it was a setup because the second one was yeah. a setup and that's why yeah. it got off. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It was mm-hmm. like, you could smell a setup when you know when you mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. The first one. There was something in that. Yeah. There you was, think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the, why Why would you pay the kid off? You know, because you're Michael Jackson. Yeah, but then why did yeah, he pay the what? second kid off? Do you see what I'm saying? That don't correlate. Because it was, it, maybe he thought, if I pay now, I'm going to be paying for the rest <laughs> of my life. Well, why didn't he think that the first time? Well, maybe maybe it wasn't even his decision. That, do you know what? The, fir- the first kid, Geordie, mm. was describing stuff on his body that no oh, okay. no yeah. person yeah. who's no. not related to you mm. should mm. you know what I mean that's why I was always yeah. that's why I was very, yeah I, I, I thought more than likely something happened okay, there okay. do you know what I mean that didn't happen in the second case that's, that's what I'm saying the second case was a lot different to the first let one let me tell you something after any mm. parent sent their child but, but yeah. after that mm. you were looking for a payday yeah the so that's what I'm saying every yeah, every yeah. Week. 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 yeah yeah definitely yeah. anything 100%. after that do you know what I mean? You think my son's going to Damien if I know that he's... <laughs> he's that way inclined. He's that way inclined. Let me see how he goes to the white guys. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Larry's bigger than me. Uh, <laughs> you could probably beat me up the same way, but Larry's more scary. Have you seen his hands? They're like shells. He just covers my face. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I'm... I, I, I just don't I know. Want that. <laughs> and then there's another thing as well, because they're talking about they're going to focus on certain important bits in his life are they going to focus on like it, it depends there's so many things that's happened are they going to focus on when he put his kids on a balcony mm. that kind of thing or are they going to focus on when he had the uh, fire on his hair yeah mm. which went, started his addiction to, to painkillers painkillers which yeah. ended up killing him yeah um they're obviously going to talk about the whole whitening yeah, they all denied and so, it. yeah and so, denied it. so which was perplexing yeah. to me honestly um yeah, well, that, I always think there's a psychology of the burns up. I think that just made him too much. Yeah. Because obviously the, the whiter he went, the less that there was a focus on the burns. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. don't know why he didn't say, yeah, I had vitiligo and I just evened out my skin or something. Because he did mm. say, well, he, he did had say vitiligo. Yeah, but, yeah. But, Which he might have had, but... We don't know. But mm. again, I know people who've had vitiligo quite badly. Yeah. And it doesn't look like, like that. that. No. Do you know what I mean? The, so the pigments just... Yeah, slightly different. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's I, 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 like Leon said. I'll be the first in line to come and watch this. Yeah. But, but did you say the things were still black? <laughs> I didn't go into that much detail, bro. I wonder though. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's mad, <laughs> but but that that would have just got him to write. <laughs> you know, my blue jacks is white like Damien, <laughs> but the things is black like Larry. Mine ain't black. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know them ones. Oh, 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 trust Leon to come up with shit like that. Man. Man. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we we, we go in the hole and we just dig up whatever we can, people. <laughs> Listen, the brain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, it does. I, I'm actually interested in how food. Yeah, black holes. No, okay. So, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm interested in how Fuqua is going to tackle this. Actually, yeah, because yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's, he's not. We, we had this 
talk off camera. It's not his type of film, yeah. usually. Mm. But a good director, a good storyteller is a good yeah, storyteller. So I'm interested to see how he does this. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Mm. I don't want to yeah. know what's yeah. going on. Guys, what do you think about this? A Michael Jackson biopic of Antoine Fuqua. Interested? Not interested? And which parts of his story do you think they're going to focus on? <laughs> hey, if someone comments down below and let us know what you think, please, yeah? Are they going to comment on... Shut up!